Hi, and in this video I'll be looking at some of the ways we can report on the information in our project using filters, sorts, the table area and views. I'm going to start by looking at the table area and the table that we see here is made up of a predefined set of columns so we've got name, duration, start, finish. I can right click on any of these columns and choose to add a column and there are various categories of information and as we move across the actual data fields or columns that we can choose to show. So there's data there on progress, costs, etc. If I wanted to add a column to perhaps write some notes alongside my tasks, I can select the notes field. The table definition properties box appears. This allows me to make more specific changes to the column if I choose. I don't at the moment. And then this column can be moved around by placing your cursor just above the column heading. You'll see the cursor with the little arrows on it and you can move the columns around to suit your requirements. If I wanted to save this table so it's available again in the future, I can go to the table menu and save as. And I'll give this a name. I'll save it under one of my categories. I'll save it as tasks table. And this table now saved under the tasks category and is available whenever I need it in the future. I can return to the default table, but I can bring up my notes table whenever I require. And I can use this column to write a note against a task. And you notice that when a note sits against a task, it has a little yellow diamond on the task. Also, if you hover on that, it's a, the notes are visible via the bar charts too. Along with tables, up in the view section here, we have filters. And filters allow us to choose just a subset of data to display. For example, I've got tasks with different contractor codes on here, so I might choose to display only the tasks done by a certain subcontractor so I can come up to filter codes and I can select which code filter and this displays my code libraries and from here I can choose which code I want to display if I choose Acme Builders and I see only that information on the screen. There are many predefined filters supplied with the software so I can filter for certain logic, uh, certain types of tasks, things happening within a specific date range, etc. To turn off the filter at the bottom of the screen, click on the name of the filter. Another useful way to report your project information is to sort or group. So whereas a filter shows specific items from your project, a sort or group will group or reorder it in a specific way. So keeping with the contractor example, this sort will allow me to see each contractor by start date and you see it's separated it into each group and the activities that they are doing in my schedule. These dotted lines represent page breaks, so when it comes to printing, we can choose to scale the printout and use the defined page breaks, so we'd have one page for each of the different trades here, and that's a great way of just giving them a list of the work they need to do. Again, to remove the sort or to turn it off, we can click on the sort name in the bottom of the project screen. Now, collectively, what you see on the screen in terms of the table, the bar chart, any filters or sorts that you have running, that is known as a view. And to give a basic understanding of how a view works, how it could be of benefit to you, I might make some changes now to the bar chart. So if I edit the format in and I choose to turn off my critical path, maybe in floats, my links, so I've created quite a simple view of the Gantt chart there. Um, in terms of the table, I might want to display the notes table. I think I've still got it here, just hidden away there. So I've got the notes table on display. I might also choose to filter this for just one particular trade or sort it. Let's run a sort 
and sort it by contractor again so we've got all of the different contractors and finally I might want to hide these different color codes I don't need the colors because I've got a nice um, list there of, of who's doing what so the trades contractor code library here in the project view I'll just right click and choose not to display that by clicking on the tick that is there and so I've made my project look quite different here in terms of its presentation and if I wanted to save this report so it's available again in the future I can go to the view section of the view tab and give this view a name a save as I'll call this my simple view and uh, I won't get save it with the category this time I'll click OK and what we've done here is I've saved a view that contains all of those changes I've made. I can return to my bar chart view at any time and there's everything looking as it was previously. Both of the views are on display up here with these tabs so we can interchange between the different views depending on how we want to see the project or what we're doing, how we're working. And this is exactly the same project. If I change something in one view, it will change in another view. So it's the same project just presented in a different way. So views are really useful to save different presentations of the project data for different reporting purposes, maybe for printouts or maybe just to facilitate working on different parts of the project. So you could have a view for costs, a view for progress update, etc, etc.